With a growing uh, influence or understanding of local farming and how it benefits both from an environmental and an economic standpoint, you're seeing a greater diversity of ways that people can actually support local farming. One initiative is called CSAs, or Community Supported Agriculture. And today we're at Willow Tree Farm near Port Perry, Ontario, because they're a participant in CSA. We're gonna learn a little bit more about how CSA is involved and how it's a good thing for supporting local farming. Community supported agriculture. So that means the community supporting the agricultural industry um, by purchasing a share in the spring. So giving their money for product beforehand, um, which allows us revenue to um, buy the seeds, pay the labor to get the things into the ground. And then for 20 weeks after that, they receive a basket full of fruits and vegetables throughout the season, allowing them to eat fresh product picked that day. Um, and eating through the season. So uh, CSA is a really good thing because people get involved in the community. Um, they come out to the farm, they really learn how things are grown. People are always amazed to see what a broccoli plant actually looks like, um, how Brussels sprouts grow, um, the bean start as a little flower and then they get a chance to see the tiny bean grow into the big bean. Um, they get to see um, all, all of our fields, we do big events where people come out and tour the farm and they get really a sense of pride in being part of the farm. So CSA started in Europe and it's been brought over to North America and the program is becoming really popular. Uh, we, are, we ourselves have been doing the program for four years and it's a, it's, so far it's been a big success. The first, first year we had about 20 members and now we're up to over 80. I see, it, I see CSA programs growing, especially for new farmers uh, that are getting into it and wanting to start up a farm. And as far as the industry, I think um, it will become more popular as the local movement and people become more conscious of how their food is grown and want to be involved in that process. Uh, I think it is part of the fun. A lot of the kids that uh, we give baskets to are so excited to see what the farmer gave them that day. Compared to the supermarket, our costs are a little bit higher because uh, we pick it that day and give it to you, as well as we practice a lot of sustainable farming, so things, inputs are, are definitely more. And our food quality product is way higher than you would purchase in the grocery store because we picked it that day and we also do selective picking, only picking the best and leaving the stuff that rests behind in the field. People should support CSA because they get to eat fresh, they get to know the farmer and they get to know how their food is grown for them. You know it's amazing to see just what variety and breadth we have close to home. And I know farmers markets are great and I support them and I love them. But this whole CSA initiative, I think, is something that if you really want to show your support for local farmers who really are such a key component of a sustainable society, I think it's worth giving it a try. Let's really look online, do a Google search, look for CSA uh, in your neighborhood, and give it a thought. Because I think, again, this is something that we really should consider doing. From uh, Willow Tree Farms, the airport in Ontario, until next time, I'm Eric Novak.